for the complete index to this or any other series, please go to BossIntegrations.com and click on Integration Videos. Process 2, Part 4 After logging in to the Dell Boomi Atmosphere account, expand Series 1, expand Processes, and double click on Process 2. And here's our Process 2. The first thing that we're going to do is move the objects closer together. Do this by simply clicking and holding on an object and pulling it to the left. If you want to move several objects at the same time, highlight all the objects, let go, click and hold on one of the objects, and move them all together, and let go. If you click on the canvas, now that you can see everything's been tightened up and moved over to the left. Let's now add two objects. We're going to add a data processing object and we're going to add a message object. First thing we're going to want to do is unhook this stop shape, move it over to the right. We're looking at the execution objects here. Go down to data process, click and hold, drag onto the desktop, and we're going to add a new processing step and we're going to click on Combine Documents and click on OK. Now this data processing object actually split the documents so that we could use this root function and now what we're going to do is combine those documents that came down this path into one document. So let me connect that up. And I'll move the stop a little bit. The next object we're going to put on the screen is a message object. So let's move up, click and, hold, click and hold on message, drag it over to the canvas, let go. Under parameters, we're going to add a date time value. We're going to pick a long mask and it's going to be the current date or which will be the really the current date and time because of the mask we chose. We'll click on OK. Let's add another parameter and this time we'll select current data. So what this means is that the message that will be sent out is going to contain the parameters the current date and time and the current data coming down the current path. I'm going to click into the message box and type in the following. So the first line of the message will read the records below have invalid phone numbers. The second line will read the date time is and here you can see it's picking up parameter 1 which is the current date and time and then below that you can see parameter 2 which is the current data. And the current data is the data that's coming down the path. So let's click on OK. Now let's connect the data process to the message. Move that a little bit closer. Bring this bar in a little bit. Bring down the stop shape. Connect that up. Now what we're going to do is run a test. So let's click on Run a Test. We'll select on-premise 1, Sir Adam, and click on Run Test. If we now click on the stop shape, or this stop shape, click on Shape Source Data, and View Source, the source document coming into the stop shape, 
we can now see the message that was created. You can see the first static record that we put in, then the second record, which is the date and time, and then all the records from the current data coming down the path are sent out. And notice the header records are not in this sample. Let cancel. We'll return to edit mode. We are now going to add a set properties object. Before we do that, let's unhook the stop shape. Move it to the right. Click and hold on set properties. Drag it onto the canvas. And what we're going to do is set properties for the file name that's going to be emailed out. So let's click on the add and we're, we'll say it's a mail st uh, standard connector. Click on file name, double click on file name, click on your entry and over here you can see parameters and we're going to add a few parameters. The first one will be static and this is the the parameters are going to make up the name of the file the attachment that we're going to send out. So we'll start by calling it invalid phone numbers dash click on OK and then let's add another one and we'll make that a date time parameter and let's use this mask and the current date time. Click on OK and click on OK. Now we'll connect the message to the set properties. Click and hold on set properties. Pull it over to the left and we'll move the stop shape out of the way for a second. And now we're going to add the mail connector. This is how we're actually going to email the data. So click and hold on connector, drag it onto the canvas, and we're going to select mail connector, and we're going to send, we're going to send mail, and now we're going to create a connection. Click on the plus, and we're going to call this, this connection is to boss integrations.com or 25.25 and obviously you'll have to use your own parameters here. Click on OK and save. And we'll click on save and close. So we've created the connection to Boss Integrations. Now we're going to use the operation or create the operation. Click the plus. from me to me subject invalid phone numbers. Click on save and close. Click on OK. Now what we're going to do is hook up the set properties to the mail connector. Click and hold on the mail connector. Pull it to the left. Pull down the stop shape, connect it, and now let's run a test. Select on premise one, click on run test. And now that this process has run, let's go and check the email to see what has come in. You can see that an email has come in. And it has an attachment. The name of the attachment is invalid phone numbers dash and then the date and time. And inside that attachment, you can see the actual data that was produced. 
and you can see that the subject for the email is invalid phone numbers. Let's return to edit mode. Click on return to edit mode. Now let's review the process. We connect to the disk using a start connector and pick up data from a CSV file. We do a little bit of data processing which is splitting the data into individual records. We use a root object and we root data first up this path and then down this path. So any records with the value phone in the phone field gets rooted out this way. Then the, all of the rest of the records come down this path. On this data process object, all of the records are combined back into one file again so it can be emailed out. With the message object, we actually add some information to the data that's coming in. Then we go to the set property object. In the set property object, we create a file name for the attachment that's going to be emailed out containing this data. And then the mail connector actually emails that data out. Remember, this is a sub-process. It will be called by a higher process in a later lesson. Because of that, this start shape, if we click on configure, will actually change the functionality from a connector to actually go and get data from a disk to pass through. So that data is being passed through to this sub-process. We'll leave it as it is for now. I'll click on OK so that you can actually modify this, play with it, and get comfortable with this first process that we've developed, Process 2. Congratulations on completing the lesson.